Supersonic Showdown Israel's Rampage Missile Strikes Iran's Military Base According to a report by Israeli broadcaster Khan, Israel employed a long-range, supersonic missile during its recent strike on Iran, as reported by the Times of Israel. U.S. officials disclosed that the strike targeted a military base near Isfahan, Iran, last Friday. While Israel has not officially confirmed the details, Iran has downplayed the incident, mentioning only small drones in the attack, likening them to children's toys. Although the exact weaponry used in the strike remains uncertain, Ken asserted that Israel utilized a missile called Rampage, citing photographic evidence and the consistent damage pattern observed, as reported by the Times of Israel. The Rampage missile, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries II, is specifically designed for targeting communication centers, air force bases, maintenance facilities, and infrastructure, as per the company's website. With a top speed of 1,250 miles per hour and a range extending up to 190 miles, it can be deployed from aircraft or as a standalone system. Its guidance system integrates GPS-INS navigation and anti-jamming capabilities, and it is equipped with either a blast fragmentation or general-purpose warhead. A promotional video on II's YouTube channel showcases the missile's simulated strike capabilities. According to the New York Times, sources claim that Israel's strike on Iran was retaliation for a previous Iranian attack on Israel, with the intention of demonstrating the ability to penetrate Iranian air defense systems undetected. Business Insider reached out to both the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, and II for comment. In a separate development, it was reported last year that the UK's Royal Air Force was considering procuring the Rampage missile to replenish its missile inventory, having contributed many of its own Storm Shadow cruise missiles to Ukraine. The Rampage is viewed as a cost-effective alternative priced in the hundreds of thousands of dollars compared to the $3 million expense for each storm shadow, according to the National.